a new series of the Grand Tour Hits Prime video on June 16 entitled Euro Crash, which sees Jeremy Clarkson, James May and Richard Hammond head to Central Europe however, Jeremy has admitted to having reservations about continuing the show, even though there are two more specials planned. He made the revelation ahead of the launch of the new series when asked what we could expect from the next one. For the next one, in fact, the next two, we're back on slightly scary ground, doing things that we used to do when we were in our 30s and 40s, he intimated. But now we're in our 50s and 60s, so I'm slightly nervous about the next two, he acknowledged. Explaining his trepidation, he said, let's just say we're going back to Africa, and this one's a hard one. It's hard if you're young and fit, but I'm really not fit. And I'm very fat. And I'm 63 now. The latest series sees the team undertake an epic 1,400-mile journey which sees them take in Gdansk in Poland, through Slovakia, Hungary and Slovenia to name a few of their stops. The show was inspired by places that the team have visited in the past which are now an absolute no-go. I don't think people realize just how small the world has become in the last 25 years, or the available world, we should say, Jeremy stated. Don't miss. This morning's Dr. Ranj shares cryptic post as Holly Willoughby returns to show, latest, Kate Silverton opens up on new career after heartache of IVF, insight, Rowan Atkinson confesses he feels duped by the electric car trend, opinion, as we point out at the beginning of the film there are lots of places, almost all of the Middle East, all of North Africa, lots of places we've been to before, that we can't go to now, not just because we got banned for saying something or doing something, but because they've become bloody dangerous. So, the concept is a road trip that nobody has ever thought of, in cars nobody would ever use for a road trip. We thought we'd try and go from effectively the Baltic to the Adriatic, sticking to countries that used to be behind the Iron Curtain. That was the plan. Jeremy admitted that the fact the world is shrinking saddens him, especially when he is familiar with the locations. I remember in Al Raqqa there were crowds of Syrians around the cars welcoming us. As we point out at the beginning of the film there are lots of places, almost all of the Middle East, all of North Africa, lots of places we've been to before, that we can't go to now, not just because we got banned for saying something or doing something, but because they've become bloody dangerous. So, the concept is a road trip that nobody has ever thought of, in cars nobody would ever use for a road trip. We thought we'd try and go from effectively the Baltic to the Adriatic, sticking to countries that used to be behind the Iron Curtain. That was the plan. Jeremy admitted that the fact the world is shrinking saddens him, especially when he is familiar with the locations. I remember in Al Raqqa there were crowds of Syrians around the cars welcoming us. Welcome to Syria, Captain Slow they said, when James got out, you know, and we went off with them. They took us round their shops and their houses, and it was just epic. I've seen the footage over Al Raqqa now and it's just a smoldering ruin. And that is sad. Damascus isn't a smoldering ruin, but it will be tricky to go there and that's one of my favorite cities in the world, he pondered. So yeah, it is sad that we're losing so much of the world to terrorism. We thought we were going to lose Eastern Europe as well, but mercifully we've still got it. The Grand Tour, Eurocrash launches on Prime Video on June 16th.